So our topic for today is about uh, dimensioning. Okay, so I'll just start a new drawing file. Then I'll just create uh, layers. Or before I create a layer, I would set the units. Okay, if I'm going to use decimal, and then the position is two decimal places. And then insertion to scale, probably I'll just use millimeters for this particular example. Okay, and then I'll select OK. After setting the units, I'll just create layers. Okay, let's say uh, this will be my mechanical part, for example. And then another layer, probably dimensions. Then both the mechanical part and the dimensions layer are continuous. Then I'll just change the color, let's say uh, green for the mechanical part, and then dimension, let's say uh, blue. Okay. Then I'll just close this one. Then the layers that I have created are available in the layers panel. Okay. Now I'll just draw by using the mechanical part uh, rectangle, probably. Just a measurements of, let's say, 1000 by. 800 okay. so then I will dimension this part okay. using the dimensions layer so dimensioning you will be needing the to view the annotation panel here where the dimensioning are available like linear dimensions aligned angular arc length ranges and so on okay they are also available under annotate tab okay and dimensions panel that will give you linear aligned and so on also the continue and baseline are available here okay so you can change the availability of your dimensions by selecting annotative ISO 25 or standard okay let's say I would select uh, standard okay my current uh, dimension style will be standard and i'll go back to home okay so as you can see here they're all in standard so i'll just provide my linear dimensions i could select it here or under annotate tab you can select linear dimensions here when using linear dimensions okay you will be uh, uh, providing dimensions that are linear to that given object uh, it's either horizontal or vertical dimensions let's say linear okay and make sure that the object snap or f3 is invoked okay so that the object snap points like endpoints uh, midpoint and so on will be available okay i'll just select this endpoint and then the other endpoint of the, that uh, corner then I'll just provide it here okay anywhere here in the location and you'll notice that there is no visible value like for example the length of that one is 1000 and the arrow heads they're not visible okay so if I'm going to zoom in okay the 1000 value is uh, small well small and uh, also the arrow heads are also small okay so upon editing i am using the standard okay by editing that <coughs> uh, text height you will be using the dimension style dialog box so i'll just invoke that one by pressing letter d so that is the short keyboard shortcut for dimension style okay so i have used the standard here okay so i'll just select standard then i'll just modify it okay but then you can create your new uh, <clears throat> uh, standard styles so you can create your own okay so for this particular example i'll just modify this one the standard okay the modified dimension dialog box appear okay so uh, lines so these are simply the lines a baseline spacing uh, extension beyond dimensions line offset from origin there this value when we say offset from origin, okay, its value is 0 0.0625. That is the offset 
value i'll just cancel this one that is the offset from this point of selection up to that other end point here okay so I'll notice this one so i'll just type in the dimension style then i'll just modify the standard okay so offset from origin you'll notice it here so if i'm going to increase the value let's say one okay so you will notice there their offset distance okay then extend beyond dimension lines what are the dimension lines dimension lines are those lines with arrowhead okay this vertical line here okay these are called your <coughs> extension line okay so extend let's say i'll just place value of two here okay and then i'll just add the symbols if you want to change your arrow orientation like your arrow heads you can select any of this one okay so for the meantime i'll just leave it as close field close field and so on and for arrow size okay i'll just provide a measurement of five okay and then for the text i'll just provide seven okay and for the primary units that's decimal two decimal places okay and the separation okay so you'll notice here 39.51 okay if i'm going to use comma 39 comma 51 if a space provided okay so let's use period okay and then text it's also use horizontal and so on okay and then i'll just press ok and then i'll just close this figure so somewhat it is visible now okay and if you're going to zoom to fit it's not yet fully visible so i'll just say edit those dimensions like modify then i'll just provide the text height as 10 then for the arrows i'll just provide it with 7 and then extension beyond let's say i would increase this one notice that it will increase on this part and not that part so let's say it should be 3 okay okay and then let's say this will be 4 let's say this will be 3 units okay and then i'll just press ok and then close okay so notice that it's been increased and the offset from origin is provided okay and then the extension of the extension line here okay and the arrow heads so if you want to edit more okay to make it more visible okay i'll just type in dimension style standard then modify it so i'll just increase the arrow size let's say 10 and then for the text okay let's say that i'll give it a, as a value of 20 then offset from the dimension line let's say i'll just provide one okay primary units and so on okay extension beyond offset from origin okay let's say this is six then okay then close okay so once you're done or you're good with your dimensioning value okay i would continue my dimensioning here linear or vertical okay so that is 800 units okay okay so hope you practice uh editing those dimensions okay and practice linear dimension which is which provides horizontal and vertical dimensions only now i'll just continue i'll just draw a, another figure here let's say i would draw a triangle using lines so let's say i'll just use the ortho mode okay so let me provide a 750 here okay then enter then i'll just provide the 420 here okay and then i'll just close the figure okay then i'm good to go so i have drawn a right triangle okay similarly 
I could use linear or I could use a line if I'm going to use a line okay so when you have an inclined or an inclined line you can use uh, a line measurement to provide parallel dimensions okay so I'll just cancel that I might use the dimensions here dimensions layer and then align okay click that endpoint and this endpoint to provide this aligned measurement here okay so if I'm going to use linear for this particular measurements so that's 420 okay so do I have to dimension this one okay it's probably uh, you can do so okay selecting that endpoint and this endpoint okay and providing that dimension okay so I'll just erase this one and that one enter okay so that is the align so any inclined line can be measured okay parallel using the aligned measurement so when we use angular okay so let me just provide angles here so I'll just use the angular okay so selecting two adjacent sides like for example this side and this side okay to project an angle okay that is 61 degrees okay also if I'm going to measure this one okay I'll just use the angular okay I could select this line and then this one to provide the angle also you can hover your cursor outside for the exterior angle you can provide it here or, or here or here okay so I'll just use this one then I'll just click it here okay so also you can provide your measurement here for the 90 degree angle if you want to okay so again using the angular uh, dimensions providing angles so you can select two adjacent sides you can project your uh, angles inside by means of interior angles or exterior outside okay I'll just provide it here okay now continuing I'll just use the arc length radius and diameter let's say I'll draw a circle which has a radius of let's say 250 and another one okay with diameter so let's say that is 700 Okay. and then an arc let's say this one okay I'll just use the arc length here but then I need to change my layer to dimensions and then I'll select arc length okay so I'll just select this arc okay and then you could project your arc length uh, somewhere here okay so the arc length measures 788.78 units or millimeters if I have set the units to millimeters now for radius and diameter okay you can select radius here and then select the object okay probably your circle or an, or an arc okay then you can click it here okay or here or here or here so there are four, four possible locations that is at two o'clock four o'clock okay and then 8 o'clock and then 10 o'clock so these are the four possible locations when uh, placing radius or diameter okay so I'll just select it here okay and notice radius of 250 uh, millimeters okay and for diameter okay you can select the diameter uh, <coughs> tool okay I'll just select this one okay you can select you can place it here okay so the diameter symbol is P okay so those are the basic uh, dimensioning tools okay so continuing so I'll just create a rectangle here that measures let's say 3000 by 800 okay 
then I'll just explode this one and then I'll just offset it by 1000 units okay and then this one okay now let us dimension this one okay so I will be discussing about uh, continue and baseline so let us try continue before you can use continue you need a reference uh, dimension let's say linear okay so I'll just dimension it here that point and then I'll just click it here okay now I'll invoke continue notice that it will continue the dimension from this uh, last specified point like for example continue okay tendency it will connect automatically from the reference base point that you have provided okay so i'll just click here and then click it here then once you're done you can press the enter key or escape key okay and then escape again that is the continue so now using baseline similar procedure you need the reference dimension let's say the bottom i'll just click it here Okay, and then I'll just select baseline. Okay, and then I'll just click it here and then here. Okay, and then I'll just press escape key. I could select this one. Then I'll just move it here. Probably. Okay, I'll just use F8. Okay, so that ortho is on. Then I'll just select this one. That is the uh, baseline. Okay, so practice them. Okay, practice the uh, linear dimensions, the aligned dimensions, angular, arc, diameter, and uh, radius. Okay, also practice using we call this uh, baseline and continue. Okay, those are the basic of. Uh, dimensioning.